been a quiet week of international football. So we're going to do something today where we look back at our predictions from the pre-season and we've got an opportunity to make some changes. <laughs> this is a we... disaster. <laughs> yeah. This is a disaster. Although I've already seen a clanger from Booby. <laughs> yeah, you guys copy each other for the first I've one. I've already seen a yeah, complete you guys copy clanger each other. from you, mate. <laughs> now, what clanger are you looking at? Is it a relegation? I'm looking at, I'm looking at relegation. Booby's saying Nottingham Forest, they're in the Champions League spots. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but. <laughs> Here's a quote of him as well. Here's a quote of Booby's from his prediction. Nottingham Forest Forest are stinking the gaff out. Weird owners, weird press releases. I don't see where the goals are coming from. Didn't I'm, see Chris I, Wood, mate. You never heard of Chris Wood? Well, yeah, and all of them, they've been fantastic. But to be fair, Nottingham Forest have been in and around the relegation zone. Mm. A little bit boring, a little bit dry with Steve Cooper. And also, I just don't like Nottingham Forest. So I want them to get relegated. How can you not like Forest? If, all, if we're going to have like irrational hatreds of football clubs, Forest can't be one of them. Can they? No, I want them to get relegated, Ross. But by the, the way they're going, they're going to get into the Champions League and probably win it. By the <laughs> Finish time above you yeah. this season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very true, actually. Uh, but you guys, uh, yeah, some very, very strong predictions. What about Brentford, though? Brentford was oh, a yeah, shocker got, from both of you. Southampton one. and Leicester, though. All of us have said Southampton and Leicester. And all of us are looking at least close to accurate on that. Well, yeah. Southampton was the easiest prediction in the history of football to get relegated. Mm. That's true. But equally, Leicester, I mean, Leicester have pulled it out of the bag a bit. Did anybody, none of us thought Wolves... The current uh, bottom three is Crystal Palace 18th, Wolves 19th, Southampton 20th. No one had Palace no off the back Palace. of the way they finished last season. No, they've been had shocking. And some of his signings, now he's had a full transfer window. Because some of us went big on Palace, like kind of yeah. finishing quite high up the table Top because 10. of Glasner, didn't we? Mm. Um, so to see them in the position that they are. Right, lads, you can change your predictions. Will you change? Will you stick? Will you twist? Are you going to change? No, 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 no. I think I'll I'm change a man, Brentford. I'm not a mouse. no. You're a mouse then. I'm a man. I think I'll change Brentford. Now, nah, mice and men. This life's about mice and men. And I'm a man and you're a mouse. Yeah, but I'm man enough to say I think I was wrong. No, mate. Stick to your prediction. I think I was wrong. And therefore, I'm going to go Southampton, Leicester. West Ham. <laughs> West Ham. Could be West Ham. Wolves. You know why I'm going Wolves? Because last season I predicted them to go down. Yeah. And they didn't. Just about. And now up. they're there. Maybe I was just a year Wolves off go. with that prediction. Wolves, Wolves won't they go. Might, they got know. their victory. Wolves won't go. No way. Wolves don't go. Wolves go. No. West Ham. Could West Ham actually go? You're winding me up about Forest. For, uh, are Forest safe yet, mathematically? They're halfway there. Are they safe? They're, they're, halfway, they're halfway there. there after they're half a world of the away from being safe. Off the back of they've a quarter. They lose points. every game from now. They get relegated. Yeah, but they won't, mate. They're finishing, but as things stand, they're on, they're on a trajectory to finish above you. No, what trajectory? It's just predictions, isn't it? What are you, Nosferatu? Yes. Although Forest, <laughs> in Forrest's next five games, they've got Arsenal, City, yeah. United and Villa. Well, they beat City. They beat United they and beat they get City. smashed by City they and Arsenal. They definitely beat City. That's Listen, the one they beat. We're four games unbeaten. What about you? Yeah. You can't remember what a win what feels about, like, what mate. What about you? You're 13th. Mate, you four games what? You can't remember. 13th. Can you four remember what? what winning feels like? How old were you when the last time you won the Premier League? Four games what? You were doing your GCSEs. Can no, you I wasn't. remember? I was doing my law degree, actually. Can you remember? <laughs> can you remember what a win feels like? It must be a weird feeling for you. It must be like being a City fan in this 1999. This season, it's been such... Honestly, I remember the first win of the season. We battered you. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost Rory, don't worry about that. I gave Boogie that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <What? Stop talking. laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's the you're gonna change your predictions, Booth. No, I'm gonna keep it. Forest to get relegated, Southampton and Leicester City. What are you, a man or a mouse? I'm a I'm a man enough <laughs> to change my predictions. Um I said this though, I think Tony goes, Thomas Frank could go. It's unsustainable about Brentford. It's true, it is unsustainable. It's whether, not it, unsustainable. whether it ends for them this year or next year or the year after or the year after. Literally the wrong word to use no, for it's Brentford. A completely they, the right they've word. had sustained success for at least ten years in terms of get, getting out of the championship. They haven't been the, here for ten years. No, they've been in the Premier League, but they've had a trajectory out of League One into the championship, into the Premier League that's consistent no, and growing. We've seen, we've seen that before with other clubs yeah. that, that then ultimately yeah. is unsustainable. Also, but then one of the players Brent, that they've seen it with Wigan Athletic that was ultimately unsustainable. Wigan Athletic had a very short rise and a short fall. And uh, Brentford have been fantastic. And by the way, one of their players, one of the best players in the league right now, and Buemo, he's third or fourth highest score in the league. So these guys I can't believe it. Saying Brentford are going to get relegated. Craziness. Mm. I think you know, they've got a top level manager. What do you mean craziness? Thomas you said Frank Forrest. Thomas, Thomas Frank's better than Ruben Amory. You know? you Thomas Frank's better than Ruben Amory. No, no, Thomas Frank's not better than Ruben Amory. Yes, yes, Ruben he Amory. Of course he's he not. Yes, he is. If Thomas Frank was better than Ruben Amory, we'd have Thomas Frank right now. No, you wouldn't because Man United. That's the thing I was gonna. That's the point I was gonna make. Thomas Frank feels like a manager that's on the verge of a move. Ange Postecoglou gets sacked. He's in at Spurs. Yeah. So Brentford could still go this season. 
No, no way. I'm sticking to my prediction. You're above you. Prediction, man. <laughs> You're a, a man. You're not a mouse. Brentford is a, a mouse. Man. Brentford are that above you in the table. That man there is a mouse. Brentford are above. I want you to apologise to all the Brentford fans. They're above you in the table. All three of them. They're above you in the table. All three of them. They're above you in the table. Movie, are you sticking with your Forest down prediction? Yeah. Well, how though? Because I just said, what if you lose? Oh, what they got forty points? Are they? They got forty points. No, they, no, got, points less, they got. We're less than a third point. away from the season, and they've got half the so, total yeah. they need. <laughs> what do you want me to do? In fact, they might have more than half the total because that's been forty points. No, yeah, you're not going to need forty. Obviously, I'm on the wind up. It's going to be very hard for them to get relegated, if not impossible. It's but hard to tell um, when, and when the other when two are not. definitely going to get relegated. Movie. Nottingham Forest are stinking the gaff out. <laughs> They're stinking. They are. The they are. They weird are. owners. Weird, weird owners. press releases. Weird press releases. <laughs> weird press releases. I don't see where the goals are coming from. They've scored 15 in 11 games. Yeah, more than you. Do you know, and, and I'll tell you what, in Chris Wood, player of the month, what's he got? Eight goals this season? That's yeah, crazy. He can't maintain that, can he? Yeah, he can. He will. Oh, he can. Is he? Yeah, oh, he can. 30? I'll tell you what he the definitely Kiwi does. The Kiwi Lewandowski, they're calling him. I'll tell you what he definitely does. He scores against Man City. He has before. And he will again. <laughs> fifth and six. I had Liverpool fifth, Spurs sixth. So where did you put United? Because like, we'll get to that. Don't worry. Oh, you put them in the top four. Don't worry, Don't worry man. Relax. Relax. He always says United to win the league, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. But when I say United third, that means something else. Um, but I had <laughs> I had Liverpool fifth and Spurs sixth. I think I was really kind to Spurs. Wait a minute, Liverpool sixth? No, fifth. I just said it to you. Fifth. <laughs> I can't even read. I can't read the number. Can't you listen? Though? You but can listen, fifth, right? Outside like, the Champions League. Yeah. Oh, Is that a new Jesus. manager that doesn't know what's going on? And it could still happen. Does it hurt you that Liverpool, within the space of six weeks, have surpassed anything Man United have achieved in the last five years? Have they, though? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ali had a second. They're favourites to win the Premier League title. You've not been favourites to win the Premier League title for, for, what, 15 years? True. But I don't think they are favourites. They are favourites. I think City are still favourites. All the bookmakers have made them favourites. Mm. Yeah, what did you say here, Boothy? You said yeah. Man United six, so you rated them fairly highly. I mean, you could still yeah, be right. <laughs> but, you know, eventually the money, the billions they've spent for mediocrity, it has to land them somewhere. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. Do you know what I mean? If I throw enough money at a problem, surely somewhere... That problem goes away. To, yeah, somewhere. eventually. Mm. Um, Do we want to change our Spurs predictions, Boothy? <laughs> Uh, you were so talking? stupid. You two have <laughs> hung about with me for long enough. Surely you two have hung about with me long enough to know that Tottenham are an illusion. They I've are. told you this time and they time again. They came fifth last season, didn't they? I've, I've told you hey, this look time how and crap time we've again. Been. They're only a point ahead of us, you know. Ty I know. Yeah. A point ahead. I know. But they but battered they've Villa. They've lost to Ipswich and Palace. But they battered Villa. This season, and they've, United. They've, they've played 11 <laughs> yeah, games. Yeah, they've won as many games as they have lost. Yeah. That's sackable. There's, they've lost five games. But they're only won. a few points off the top four. Wait, they've lost five out of it. So no, but it doesn't work like that. You can't it does. Do that. It's a very, no, no, very condensed movie. You can't... What I'm saying is, though, you can't, Chelsea, for example, everybody says we're doing really well. We've won, what, one in five? And we're as close to Everton as we are Liverpool. Yeah. What do you, do you know what I mean? I know, I know, I know. know but Spurs, you make Spurs can make top six. He's got to get sacked. Because he seems to be like... Next manager sacked. Very... Very what if they beat City? Mm. Who took the jam out of your donut? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who took the jam out of your donut? Right, you took the jam out of my donut, Tommy. Yeah, you did. Yeah. He, so, he, he doesn't make any eye contact. He's all miserable and yeah, aggressive. Yeah. He's, like, he's like a bear. He's been you know stung he, by a bee. He has to keep going, it's my fault. But really, he wants to lay into yeah. them. Yeah. Because he's public facing it, he has to go, look, it's my fault. It's my issues. And he's also really, made he wants himself. to chuck loads of them under he's the He's made himself that character that doesn't chuck players under the bus. You know, he's like a team man and he's got this reputation now of being sort of a lovable rogue almost. It's very difficult for him to go, these players are letting me down. But ultimately, he's letting the team down. He's letting the club down. He's letting the fans down. And he should be the next manager sacked. Ten Hag gone, Postacoglu. What if next. they beat City? They no. beat you a lot. No, no, they won't beat you this. But that's when they're that's when they're doing all right. Yeah, they won't. I beat think you. City look at them and go. No, is it City? Been, uh, is it yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Oh yeah, you beat. Yeah, they're, they're on the ropes, Tottenham. They really are. Also, let's remember, Palace couldn't get a win for love nor money. They play Tottenham. Doctor Tottenham turn up and they get a win. Ipswich, their first win in the Premier League for about thirty years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Smodics and doing bicycle boys. kicks what and all that Sammy looking like Smodic Prime Rivaldo <laughs> Sam Morsey it's embarrassing big win, man it's embarrassing the tractor unreal. boys and I loved Postacoglu's uh, interview afterwards when he was like 
He was like Baloo the bear in the Jungle Book who was just like really annoyed at a bad day. Ooh, sad and that. And he's all sad. <laughs> I can't wait for him to get sacked, man. Were you anyone was... going to change their fifth and sixth prediction? I think you got to put Chelsea in it, all of us. Yeah. I think, I think Chelsea's we've all, sixth. We've all you call Adam a mouse for changing his predictions. No, no. Cha- you're a mouse. You have no so Unless it goes your way to Chelsea. Six, no, 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 unless I give you a bold prediction for Chelsea, I'm not a mouse. No. You're a mouse at the moment. <laughs> No, look, you no. had to change a Forest one because it's you ridiculous. are only They're a few points above. You're only a few points above Brentford. Really, it's a very condensed league. I'm not. I'm not going to change anything. Ch- Chelsea will finish above Villa this year, don't you think? I don't know. Wait, who have you got fifth and sixth? So you've got Tottenham to finish fifth. <laughs> you're <laughs> my god. <laughs> I thought you were going to call him a knob. Then yeah, no, it was both. <laughs> you're a knob. You, I try not to, you, mate. You've hung out with me for so many years. Yeah. Now. Has you learned nothing about? No, Tottenham? I haven't learned anything. That's the point. Have um, you learned nothing? I've told you for years about Tottenham and you've put them fifth in the league. Yeah, I think, oh, I think they're a side God. that should be... I, I think they'll be kicking themselves with the opportunity in the league with Arsenal's drop-off, uh, with City's drop-off. United has to change manager. Chelsea, we weren't sh- unknown quantity. Spurs are only a few points off and, and they, they should be winning those games that you talked about. You're right about it. They should be beating Ipswich at home. They should be beating Palace. So I, I don't think they're a million miles off fifth. I don't have, think they have are. Have you... I've just seen one of my quotes. Jesus. Are you Christ. not ready to, to say that Tottenham won't finish fifth in the league? Come on. Not ready yet. You're not it's ready. It's so early in the season... Okay. Yeah, but Tottenham, do you, do you, believe, you don't think they can do a run and get? Do, do you know what I saw? This is this. Man United finished above Tottenham. I found this. Villa finished above Tottenham. Chelsea, not Chelsea finished above. Tottenham. Definitely not Man United. Liverpool, yeah, Wait, yeah, uh, Brighton. Yeah. Did you finish above? Um, Ma- okay, let's just I use recent history. Above Tottenham, just re- re- pattern recognition. Pattern recognition. Where did you finish last season right, in correspondence? No, 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 no. To, I to, promise you, to spoon. Come on. <laughs> oh, here oh, we go. Oh, you know the gas comes out. How much are we betting? How much are we betting? <laughs> no one, no one can tell me about Tottenham. I think They're that's. A, I think them. that's hundred quid to a children's charity. Yeah, children's charity. But I'm just asking to the Genuine. Spurs Foundation. I'm not asking 1999. <laughs> all right, 25 years. Ago. I'm asking right, uh, right now. The last season, where did you finish in relation to Spurs? Did we finish above it? I no, you came eighth last season. They came oh, yeah, fifth. Yeah. yeah. And that was probably their was best season question. they'll ever have under Ange Postecoglou. I think that you've actually been, you're, you're one of those media folk that have actually been, folk, be, been affected by the Tottenham <laughs> propaganda. Oh yeah, they've got a big stadium. Yeah. Yeah. Fifth isn't no, no, but propagandistic. Can I, ask, can I ask you a question? Do you, know, do, you know what, stinks do, as well. do you know what I saw about He's this? He's one of the highest scores in the league. Do, do you know what I, I saw about this? Which really He's got more again, than Hoyland. Move, where do you sit stinks. on this one? I saw that Tottenham Hotspur, <laughs> Tottenham Hotspur are favourites, actual favourites by the bookies, to win the Europa yes. League. Oh, to, they are favourites. Yeah, Bearing in mind, Manchester United are in that competition. Boovey, do you believe no. that they... Do you when, believe have I, when have I said they're going to win silver? No, no, no. I just wonder because it's I think part of the... Fifth, same, saying that they're going to finish fifth is aligned to saying the that they're going to win the Europa che- League. The issue is uh, Chelsea have really shocked everyone because obviously Chelsea were mid-table you, basically so last season. Villa? Did you put Villa in your top four? Yeah, Villa, Villa were fourth for me. Right. Okay. Um, do you want to change anything? No, I'm happy. You're mad. So I'm going to substitute Newcastle. I'm going to I'm going to put Chelsea in my top four, which means I'm going to demote Manchester United into sixth. Newcastle are going to get bumped out of the top six, and Chelsea are going in fourth. I'm going to go. I'll tell you mine when I get to my top four. Mm. There's an interesting on quote from you there, Adam. <laughs> There's a very interesting <laughs> quote. Shall I read it for you? Shall I read it in my voice? Go for it. Liverpool will have a season of "You're Not My Dad." I'm putting a lot of success down to Klopp. That Look what Boovey said. Oh my God. No, 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 no. no don't move on. Don't move on. Let, let's have a look. Let's have, you're not my dad. Is this yeah. football analysis? Yeah, what about the, the four you or five world class players they've got at their disposal? Means? Yeah, I get the like, energy. You know when Jurgen Klopp, like when Fergie and Moyes, like, who what, are you what, telling what me? What is he, an adoptive do? parent of, you're of, not of my three dad. kids from the social system? I mean, what, what, this, these are professional footballers. You're talking about five or six world class Trent. Salah's the best right winger in world football. But you weren't able to dissect the fact that Salah, Trent, Van Dyke, Allison are still in this Liverpool side. Mm-hmm. It was bias. It was, it was bias. Kyle, it's not your bias, vision. man. It was. I still think it could happen. <laughs> what happened? They come fifth. They yeah. No man. Why not? Oh, Ange Postecoglou hasn't please. gone through it. Uh, and uh, Ange Postecoglou, Arnie Slot hasn't gone through it yet. Please, he please. hasn't gone through it. You think they'll come out of the top four after this start? You never. They've know. They've lost one game all season. You never know. They battered Leverkusen. The, the third time Ruben they've lost in two years. You lot. 
Rattle back to you six 0 when Pe they play. Pep's gonna take a sabbatical soon. When they play, you, when they play your dodgy back three, Ruben Amarim, they'll batter you six 0 at Anfield. Mark my words. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seriously, you have to have a back five with uh, with Xerxes with zero. Can pace. I just get the facts on the bet that you two had? What were, what what's the exact United word? finish above Spurs? United finish above top. Fine. So that's a hundred pounds to a children's yeah. charity. Whoever loses, the other one says what the charity. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it has to involve children. United don't come above Spurs. We do. No way. Well, there we go. Well, there's money riding on it now, which is very mm. exciting. Uh, Boofy, there's an interesting quote here from you about Liverpool. Would you like to read it or do I have the honour? I'll do it. Uh, Liverpool could have the opposite effect and they fly after Klopp leaves. They have the third best starting eleven in the league when everyone's fit. And I said, I don't think... Can I have an apology from everyone in the room? It's not over yet. No, it's I want over. an apology from every it's single not person yet. watching the video at home. I could be right. Spot on. I don't think there's a title race this season <laughs> and I'm sticking by that. You still think well, City? I think City would. Why are you talking about title races? You've not been in one for 15 years. I said Why? City are going to win it, you qualified. Dick. You're not qualified to I have a conversation. Mate. You're like, you're qualified to talk about sides come eighth. Well, we you were sitting around doing Paul doing this. I was out there making moves in title races, yeah. Yeah, 2013. Just remember that. Yeah, in yeah. 2013. I was still in Trust nappies me. in 2013. There's no title race ago. this season. I'm giving, that's, that's a, that's, mm. I'm praising you lot. I think City win it still. But Boovy, you By said about Arsenal, you said, Boovy, this is quite interesting actually. You said that if Arsenal finished second, you would consider it to be a crisis for Arsenal. They're a long way off second. You must think that that's a crisis going on at the club now then. If they end is up it? finishing, say they end up finishing fourth or even outside the Champions League spots. Yeah. What do you think that means for Arteta's future? Well, they'll keep him because of loyalty. They'll keep him because he's one of the best managers outside of the kind of the Guardiola's, the Jurgen Klopp's. He is. He's, he's a great manager. But it is crisis because Arsenal fans expect silverware. They've not won anything for 20 years. It's nearly as bad as when Liverpool went 30 years without a league title. And they spent nearly a billion quid. This is serious money. Do, do, do you lads not care about money? I care about the economy. No, seriously, we, talk, we throw numbers Why around. Do you know how much money they spend on football players? Seriously, what? No, but, no, but, wait, what, what, what's going on here? I, I, I care about, like, about... It's a lot of money these guys are shitting out on terrible, terrible, like terrible footballers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've like, been accused of many things, but not caring about no, money no. ain't one of them. <laughs> No, but what I mean by that is we, we, we dissect Arsenal, we dissect Arsenal, we, we, can, we can talk about Havertz, but it's like they spent 65 million quid on Havertz. They're wasting money, lads. Yeah. It's criminal. And also, he's been backed. Be he's been backed. And now he's up front. It's weird. I don't know what's it's going ridiculous. on over there. Hey, you're... you're debating skills are so good I love it like we're just sitting here minding our own business Adam and I do you boys not care about money <laughs> what? 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 what we never talk about, about it do we we never talk about it you up in it yeah when we talk about Arsenal we never, strong, never talk about it we talk about Saka and all these guys when we talk about Man United Chelsea waste of money whatever even Barcelona Arsenal spent a lot of money for one FA Cup in five years they have these, these are facts they spent nearly 800 million quid wars in the last five years <laughs> And do you care about yeah, money? Yeah, GDP <laughs> and all sorts. I care about money. This is money out of the pockets of real people out there. <laughs> all right? No, but seriously. It's a crisis. And they're nine points off. They've waited all this time to come first, waiting for City's slip off. They waited for three years for City's fall off. And now Liverpool have usurped them. It's crazy. Lads, I'll tell you something. Mm. I put Man United third. I'm sticking. Ruben Amory sticking to what? I think that's been possible though. Even it's if Amory, even if it goes really well we're for Amory, four points off it. It's a miracle. We're four points mm, off it. Yeah, maybe we're it's a Leicester City like it. miracle if, if you came third. Four points off it. It's, it's just bigger gonna, than It's going to take something really special. We might even win the league. <laughs> <laughs> um, in terms of <laughs> don't our, you laugh? We, Oi, don't you laugh? With Xerxes, yeah? he's going to be right with there with Xerxes. Watching Xerxes is slower than me. Don't believe me, just watch. Xerxes is the slowest striker in the history of the Premier League. How are you going to come third with that? You know, when we were having a discussion about overachievers, we spoke about what club each of us had to pick a club that we thought would overachieve this season. Interestingly, the bottom is Adam. Adam said Ipswich, who are currently 17th. But Boovie, I think that is overachieving. Boovie said, Boovie said West Ham would overachieve, who are currently 14th. I said Fulham would overachieve, currently 7th. You've never All hail the king. You've won. You've won. Well done. No, but no one said Forest, who are... By far the biggest. Oh, he had him to go down. Yeah, yeah, he had him to go down. He had to go down. They still could. Thank you, genius. What are you, you, Einstein? (laughs) They still could. (laughs) Okay. I think Ipswich finishing seventeenth is still massively overachieving. Hang on. So West Ham, who are currently fourteenth, Boovy said West Ham have a better starting eleven than Chelsea. (laughs) They've got a chance at winning silverware. 
<laughs> you know when people quote you like this movie. is mental that we said those things. Are you sure I said that? You definitely I, what, said that. What I remember day? that. What day? It was it was August the sixth. What was I wearing? A black t shirt. Always. Yeah. <laughs> black black t shirt. Guaranteed a black t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you know. Now, on some level, they, at the start of the season, they did have a better starting eleven no, than you. Because we didn't know how good Neto was going to be and a load of other I players. Knew. I knew. You've never watched him at Wolves. I can I tell knew. you that much. I know well. who's going to be <laughs> good. I actually Wolves. predicted him to score against Arsenal. I thought he'd take it with his right foot, ping it with his left. Everyone knew. But you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Apart I, from I, Thomas Party and Declan Rice, who decided to, <laughs> yeah, decided to join yeah. the back Odegaard line. knew. Did you see Odegaard's face? <laughs> as soon as he picked the ball up, Odegaard goes like that. Yeah. It's mad that. Yeah. yeah. Declan Rice. Where was Declan Rice? Mate, you could ask where, that question. You I couldn't could, find you could him on the highlights. Like, I was looking as well. I couldn't find him. They all dropped into the defence. Weird. Saliba pushes across and yeah. Party and Rice go to cover. Party by himself, yeah. Mm. Weird. Talk. Yeah. Talk yeah. to each other. Yeah. Man. yeah, very, very. I can't believe how shit West Ham are, to be honest. Jared Bowen's having a poor season. They still got Antonio running around. The guy's got, I mean, the guy's still quicker than Xerxes, but he must be the second slowest striker in the Premier League right now. He's, I, I can't believe he's still mm. playing football. But then Lopetegui's the big one. He, he's so, he's so out of touch, isn't he, to the West Ham way. It's so, it's, it's such a bad appointment. I almost feel sorry for West Ham fans that they got Lopetegui. But it's, I think they just get Graham Potter and everything will be fine. Mate, not How him. How did they miss out? Do you, know who gonna get? Do you know who I think they should get? I'm creating a rumour here. Ten Rude Van Nisselrooy. Ten Hag. Van Nisselrooy. I was sticking with that. I think Van Nisselrooy. Ten Hag wouldn't get the West Ham Van Nisselrooy for West Ham, for everything that West Ham fans want, that like young, exciting, new manager that has an attacking element to his game, maybe a bit of an icon as well. I swear... Ruth Van Nistelrooy leaving Manchester United is a gift to West Ham. Another one for him, though. Ajax job just come available. Yeah, but Ruth, Ruth that, Ruth's a, Ruth's a PSV gets, man, right? But he, Yeah, yeah, but he, he's, it doesn't matter. I think it does. I think it, does, it, does. Matter. it doesn't matter. I think it does. He played for Heronveen as well. Like it, yeah, but Heronveen's not. Think no, be, I think it matters. Man United's United his team. I don't know enough. Of, like, I think, somebody you know, who you is... Know, you know, managing Ajax, you get into the Champions League, you get to showcase your talents on a bigger level. I think at West Ham... Unless you get top eight, you're going to get... West Ham's a bigger job than Ajax at the moment, and I hate, hate yeah, saying Yeah, I hate that. to say, I hate that no, you're I agree right. with you. I hate that you're right. But there's right, also much more right. at yeah. risk there. They're spending 100 million quid every right. summer. Yeah. Ajax mm. have got... No, mate, West Ham... West, I'm, I'm creating this out of nowhere, but I think that West Ham United need to sack Lopetegui. He's never going to get it right. Whether you sack him today, tomorrow, in six weeks or six months, you're going to sack him. So you might as well just do it now. And if you're going to do it, Rude Van Nistelrooy, this is the perfect yeah. opportunity for you. For me, it's Graham Potter, but what you're saying is the same as my opinion of Graham Potter. I think Graham Potter, ball-playing side, yeah. West Ham would love it. The fans would love it. But I've just got to bring up a quote you said. You said, Lopetegui's better than Maresca. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a, it, that was about his track record. Lopetegui's managed Real Madrid. Maresca's managed Leicester. Where does it say that so, in the quote? Well, so, you said... So wait, no, no, no. <laughs> so wait, this is the quote. Think, Boovie, I've excuse got me, some news for you. I've got some news for you. I'm in the middle of the Real Madrid are bigger than Leicester. Did you not know that? Excuse me. Lopetegui is better Better than Maresca, yeah, end there's quote. There's no context there. You no, don't know what I said that's the before quote. and after. That's the quote. You've literally got I'm relying on a producer. You've got a five word quote. Yeah. You don't know what Lop you don't okay, know. I'll, I'll reread it. Lopetegui, that's one word. Yeah, is you, better you can't even say that. Word. Than Maresca. Yeah. You've said that. Yeah, I, I Your said manager that. that you're now singing his praises every week. No, that, that, I mean, I am. On the Rory Jan uh, Jennings I am, channel. I am, I, am to, I am to a degree, but not, not huge. I mean, look, we've won one in five. Yeah. We've lost to the two teams above us in the league. We're third in the league, but. You're third in the league. We're third in the league, but this time last year. We we had four less points. It's not a huge shift. That's, that's interesting. It's how close? That's what I mean. It's how close everyone's getting. Yeah. Mm. But that's why I think once City do get that run, they're gone. No one's gonna. No, I don't think. Oh, and that run's coming. What, what when? Although what, maybe what, I didn't. Date? Maybe I didn't Along my way. predict City to be as bad as they are. No, I know. I know. I I, mean. I would agree with you under normal circumstances, but I just don't see it with City at the moment. I really you think don't. Pep knows he's done. No. Because I but, see a man that he wants to sign another extension. I think. Does he? Yeah, he wants a big, big Does contract. Yeah, of course. Where's he going to go? He wants to manage. Oh, he's a young man. He's the kind of guy that would go and do some degree in New York. No, he's not. He's the kind of guy that he, wants he, to manage at the highest he, level. No, he's already done that. Roberto Di Matteo sent him on a sabbatical, didn't he? After Di Matteo launched him out of the Champions League, <laughs> oh, that's made him Marino, cry. bro. No, no, it was Di Matteo. That wasn't Di Matteo. That was, was, was no, no, Barcelona no. press. Di, 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 Di Matteo. Chelsea. Di Matteo. Ford would have stayed Pe for another 10 no, years no. at Barca if it was a better Guardiola circumstance. Guardiola was crying because of Roberto Di Matteo. Yeah, yeah Mourinho cracked him up. They were crying. No, no. Mourinho, Mourinho he wasn't crying after Chelsea. Oh, crying. Was Mourinho crying. cracked him up. Oh, I, I was watching the game. He wasn't crying. Yeah, I was he walked off crying. In tears, I saw it. What, remember the top stand of the new camp? The top stand of the new camp, you watched Guardiola. Do you know how good my eyes are? Are you some sort of optometrist? That's crazy. So you can't miss that bald head from the back row of the new camp. If you knew about the situation at Barcelona, which you clearly don't, Barcelona... If you knew about the situation of football, Roberto Di Matteo would have stayed there longer than four years. He was there for 
four years. He beat Man United twice, no, by the way, in four Pep, years. Pep Guardiola was sent into sabbatical by Roberto Di Matteo. By Mourinho. By Roberto Di Matteo. By Mourinho. And Mourinho. Okay, want to make it a Mourinho slash Di Matteo issue. <laughs> Chelsea sent Guardiola into sabbatical. But you just said, <laughs> you said Lopetegui's better than Moresca. That was the original point. I don't know why you've gone to Guardiola. Lopetegui is a good manager. He's not a good manager for West Ham. I never said he was a right I can't man believe somebody's Ham. quotes haven't come out yet. I, 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 what are you like at home doing? No. What are you, what Bo- are you playing Boovie's, Boovie's quotes are the worst by a yeah, mile. Yeah, 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 yeah. This this guy, Only Forrest, Boovie, Forrest, like. biggest underachievers. Yeah, but the next one I get bang on. Biggest underachievers, Manchester United, who are currently bottom half of the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but now we've changed manager. <laughs> but you, if <laughs> buts and maybe's in it, I mean, it's just We're like another manager. another guy. Guess get, Ten Hag and that, Ruben Amorim, very very similar managers. They're Young, not. exciting managers with no pedigree in the Premier League. They're football stars, not same. So with the back three, you're going to get top four. No, but it's not just with Xerxes. You slower than my nan. Style of play. <laughs> Xerxes is the slowest guy I've ever seen in my life. How's he? How's he? Your top quick, four. Though. Has he seen? Thinner move. If, she, if she's still alive, <laughs> she would be quick. Yeah. Have you seen Axel Dzazzi run? <laughs> No, is the, the Zazzy's quicker than him by about a, a factor of 50. Yeah, of course he is. Mate, he had the drop on one of the defenders and I remember they just ate the ground up behind him. Like, it's horrible, that, isn't it? Like Sancho's it. a bit like that. <laughs> San- by the way, Sancho's this is totally off topic. Remember, I was Where's right. Where's Jadon Sancho gone? Right. No, no, I was, yeah, I remember, everyone, does everyone remember when Sancho had a half-decent game and I said, Rory? Bournemouth, wasn't it? Wait for it. No, but it's where, coming. Where is it? It's he? coming. I'm not, I'm not saying he's, he's good or bad or anything. The I manager just know where said, he is. The manager dropped him for a game and said he wasn't he wasn't performing while he traded. <laughs> and you haven't big. seen him since. This is Jaden Sancho. Playing play like, he wouldn't have been able to play against Man United anyway. <laughs> but I don't know but where he's been. It's been a beans. week after. You, yeah, Arsenal. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I'm asking. Wait, maybe someone in the comments the can help. He that as well. Yeah. He disappeared. He's gone back into Kennington where he's from. I don't know where he is. This Who knows? Is what he does, man. Um, I have absolutely no idea. I There's... had Newcastle as the biggest underachievers, and I still think that could be the case. But why? They're eighth, and they're doing really well. They're doing well at the moment. It's no, just, no. For them to underachieve, they have to be bottom half, right? What? Yeah. Ten no, even that. that. I think 12th is okay. Goals this 11th is okay. Eddie Howe goals this season. Yeah, to a bigger job. I've, I've, I've no, got no, no, a no. feeling that Newcastle wins. He gets away. sacked. No way does he With get Eddie sacked. Howe. Can't League Cup, man. League Cup. You think Eddie Howe gets sacked in a bad way this season? Yeah. They're going out for the League Cup. Because you know what? These owners are going to want Champions League football. Freak. You know, since he arrived you know at when Newcastle, they see, they're like fifth in, in points. Uh, you know when crew. they see they're above Brighton the table. and Villa, and and obviously these are very good teams, but I think once those teams finish above Newcastle, the owners are going to go, why aren't you doing this? Yeah, but they know they can't spend the money. They are aware of that, aren't they? They're aware of the limitations of PSR. Mm. Also, I think, you know, the, the whole thing with the PIF not pumping in as much money abroad as well as well. Mm. And that could affect. He's the, I think he's the safest manager in the top ten. In the top twenty, Adam, you said that Eddie Howe will be gone this season. Do you stand by that? Stand by it. Mm, that's possible. Stop. I said that Chelsea are going to have a Sarri season. What finishing you, third? Or, hang on, finishing third and winning silverware. <laughs> stand by every word. <laughs> Puvia said we shouldn't be considering Manchester United in the title race with them. We should be considering. Manchester United in the title race. They won't get near the top four. Do you stand by that one? They well, won't get near the top four. Is being thirteenth near the top four in your opinion I'm asking your opinion as a mate and as, as a football analyst I think they're five points away from no no 13th no, okay so how many sides in between them and fourth do you think they can make up five points with a new manager it's not about making up five points it's about making up all the, all the loads of sides in between them and fourth are they going to be better than them mm. um, does anyone want to make a new prediction for the biggest underachievers this season I mean it's West Ham isn't it I mean the tap it's is shocking. Manchester United isn't it no, I think it's West well, I Ham I think that now. could change. Mm. It's more likely to change. We're only we're, we're less than a third away through the season as well. And it, you know when we thought Tenham. it was going to be one of those seasons where all the teams are flying and you, the mm. gap's just getting bigger. Yeah, yeah. United are still four points off third. Four points off third? Yeah. It's, it's even less than I thought, Booth. Yeah, yeah it's, it's still the same point. They're 13th at the moment. It's very disrespectful points, to everyone yeah, above them in the team. Points, the There's the 12 points, whole sides, 12 whole sides with all their years of history as a football club above them in the Premier League table. Okay. So, so you don't want to change anything? Nobody will be a Fine. Uh, best signings, I think I've won this one by a mile. Boovy said Savinio, I said Smith Rowe, Adam said Amadou Anana. Yeah, Smith Rowe's won this. Amadou Anana's looking oh, good. What, what, you know why I said Anana as well? Smith Rowe's won this. Great Not on the overlap. Remember when everyone was kind of ridiculing the signing of Anana and saying, not sure if he's going to do it for them. And I kind of thought that was weird because I, I did like Anana at Everton and he came in to replace Douglas Louise. Maybe he's not been the best signing, but I think he has been a good signing and he's gone 
he's done better than a lot of people expected him to do. So, and what, look at their record in the Champions League as well. I think you've got to bring that into the equation. What about if you take it from mm. take it from here now, and we all have an opportunity to just say the best signing so far. Uh, anyone else you want to bring up? Any signings that have landed at a particular club in the summer that you think deserve a mention in this segment? I say Smozic at Ipswich has been fantastic. But not above your... I think your shout is the winner for for me as well. It would be Smith Especially Rowe. when you look Smith at Rowe. Fulham, probably the biggest overachievers at the moment. Yeah, Smith Rowe. The, the, the kind well. of goals he's scoring, like, these aren't joke goals. No, I know. He's carrying the ball yeah, like big, he's... Big goals, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, Brazilian. He's, actually, he's actually like... He's actually become the personality, hasn't he? He's become the big stature player at the club. Yeah, yeah. He's way better than Fulham. He's a top four player. Champions League footballer. I think he's Champions League footballer. Yeah. Do you, how different do you think Arsenal's season would have gone if they kept hold of Smith Smith Rowe, considering the Odegaard injury? Like Odegaard getting injured, there isn't an obvious replacement for him in the team. With Fabio Vieira gone, with Smith Rowe gone, there isn't the obvious person to come in and do the job that Odegaard does. Do you think it could have been different for Arsenal if Oda, if uh, Smith Rowe was still an Arsenal player? I think they'd be six points higher at the table. Six? Yeah, six. Huge. I know. Two wins I'm talking about. That's a huge, win against mate. Bournemouth and a, maybe maybe a win against Brighton as an example and a, a, diff, a different I mean, it puts some three points to, to... Seriously, I think yeah. it's that. I think it's... Because I think their defensive setup's basically not changed. They brought in Timber. He's been fantastic. Havertz is nicking goals, but the midfield's been decimated. Mm. He would have brought everything together. He would have been the glue. He makes everyone better, Smith Rowe. I, I know it's Fulham, but... Yeah, I mean, that's that's huge. He's doing little one-twos at Fulham this weekend. He was doing, flicking it around the corner, one-twos, bringing everyone into play. Yeah. Oh, what a player, man. No, no, I do. I do agree with you. He's an, he's an excellent player. Uh, what are your thoughts on Savino? You said that he would be the best signing. Has it worked? Is he doing what you'd hope he would do? He's been electric. He's been one of the standout players for City this season. He really has been. Uh, I still think he's struggling with the Rodri injury because I, th- I, I think our possession's a little bit more fl- uh, flat and side to side. But when he carries the ball, he's electric. I think he's better than Doku. I think, he's, he, I think he's our best winger. He's That's got the touches of the Maris about him, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think a few weeks ago as well, before City lost four in a row, um, by the way, they've lost four in a row, um, <laughs> he looked fucking good, didn't he? Mm. Everyone was going, look yeah. at this guy, he looks like Maris. And, uh, Little nutmegs. Um, he looks really, really good. And I think he'll go on to be a fantastic player for them still. Um, in terms of worst signings, we're now going to flag the worst signing. Adam said Joao Felix. I said Joao Felix. Booby right. said Pedro Neto. <laughs> we're right Will. could have been any one of the Chelsea yeah, right. guys couldn't it? it could have been any of the Chelsea well, it couldn't guys. have been Pedro Neto <laughs> he's not been he he's not been your right. best signing is he scored no he's your best scored signing. Goal. In, in, the, in terms of the summer well, he's not been he probably work. has who's been better than him you, you tell me no, you Chelsea tell me fan. you predicted it who's, <laughs> who's been a be- like Joao Felix is, is now a guaranteed starter which the players that we signed in the summer, he is the guaranteed star. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, the goal and against Arsenal. Big huge. goal against Arsenal. He's... I like that. I just thought he'd be injury prone. Yeah, he he hasn't been. No, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't been. The goal was the goal against Arsenal was underrated as well. That was a world class strike. Fantastic one. You, you know when you take the keeper by like just ping surprise. it early. Just ping it early. He couldn't really really, really early. Just ping it early. Oh, I loved Havert scoring and it getting disallowed. <laughs> oh, did you see Fingy when he was bleeding? And he waited until the minute when the corner was about to be taken. And he went, your ref is bleeding in yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had to come yeah, off the yeah. pitch and he got booked. Yeah, that he's quite good at all that. He's quite good at all that stuff. That was so funny. Yeah, yeah. I like that. game that day. Um, <laughs> in terms of the breakthrough star, gentlemen. Yeah, I went Toby Collier because I thought there'd be a gap in United's midfield. Um, and he was kind of playing there in the preseason. <laughs> and I went with Cobby Maino the year before and I thought I'd go two for two. So far, no. Is Collier the one that came on when you got battered against Liverpool? I'll yes, it was. Yeah, memory. it was. It was. You're saying, I don't agree with this guy. <laughs> mm. Look, you can't cut that out. No, 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 no mm. cutting out. Say, just say you can't remember. That is the kid that came on against Liverpool when you got fit, battered. Historically speaking, battered, by the way. <laughs> historically speaking. 3 0 isn't historic. No, the, the, way, yeah, the, way, the way they bullied you is embarrassing. It was embarrassing. Yeah, it was a 5 0 fairly big Shoved him on. Well. Yeah. 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 But they shoved him on, didn't they? Poor old Toby Collier. Not seen him since. Beaver, you said Amari Hutchinson. He's, he's having right. a good season. Yeah, he's a solid player. I like him a lot. He's electric. He has been the breakthrough star. I, I, think, I think the breakthrough has prob- possibly Romeo Lavia. He's, he's in keeping, that, he broke he's, through before, didn't he? In the Prem before. Not, yeah, Southampton not, not was a breakthrough. Us, not yeah, but it's kind of like their the first league. season. No, he's keep, he, he is also keeping Enzo Fernandez, like a hundred million pound player out of the team, which is you're so happy about that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I think he's rubbish. I think I think he's rubbish. He is rubbish. Yeah, um, Oscar Bob for you, Raw. Yeah, Booth was I completely wrong there, Oscar Bob. I think you're unlucky. He got injured. Mm. Just an unlucky shout. Do you think he would have featured a lot this season? Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, he, he is out of this world. He'll be back soon as well, which is great for us. I like his name. He was destined to be a footballer. Yeah. Oscar Bob. He, you know, if you were looking at footballers, if he it, played for it? Stoke City in 1941, you'd believe it. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Romeo Oscar Bob. Sounds like <laughs> phonetic alphabet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, first manager sacked. Oh, God. Oh, for f- How did none of us get that right? All oh, right, it's so obvious. We did you think, no, no. Could you know what our theory it was, was so at that obvious. point <laughs> that he'd just been given the extension? Yeah. And surely they don't kick him out first. Yeah. That yeah. was our theory then. Yeah. If you were going to sack him, you do it in the summer. So bad. Yeah. 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 How did we get that wrong? But Eddie Howe was mine. Maresca was yours, and Cooper was Boovies. Yeah, I think Cooper's done okay. Who's the next one to go? Postacoglu. Ange Postacoglu will be the next manager sacked. Boovy, your opinion. Who will be the next manager sacked? You've got to say a definitive answer, all three of us. Postacoglu for me. It's Steve Cooper. I think they'll drop off in form. Postacoglu. Postacoglu. 